Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade five, in module four, we are working on lesson number four, and that means that we are using tape diagrams to model fractions as division. So let's take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's homework and see if we can get you moving if you're stuck. Let's take a look at problem number one. We're actually gonna do 1B, but we're gonna take a look at 1A to see how they did theirs. So here's the directions. Number one, draw a tape diagram to solve. Express your answer as a fraction. Show the addition sentence to support your answer. The first one is done for you. So let's see what they did here for 1A. Let's see, they had the, the number sentence first was one divided by four, and they noticed that that's the same as the fraction 1 fourth. So let's see, how did they do this? So they have the whole, which is 1, and they divided that up into four sections, or four units. So they did divide up 1, 2, 3, 4, because it's 1 divided by 4. And they said, hey, if four units, 1, 2, 3, 4, if four units add up to a whole, then we can do division, right? We can say that this, that's the same as one unit being, let's see, one unit equals 1 divided by 4, right? If four units make up one whole, then one unit would make up one divided by four. And they said that that means that this is one fourth, okay? And when they checked their work, they do they went ahead and did the standard algorithm. They said, if we st what if we started off with the whole of one, right, and we use a divisor of four, what would our quotient be? Well, let's see. At first, we would not be able to make any groups of four out of our one unit, so that would mean our, the beginning part of our, our uh, quotient is zero. That means we still have one left. And then they express the remainder, not just as one, but as one what? One fourth, one fourth. And then they checked their work by saying, okay, what if we did repeated addition or multiplication? What if we took the divisor four and multiplied it by our quotient, one fourth? One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals four fourths. Sure enough, we've created uh, our whole, our one again, right? Excellent, our original dividend. So let's see if we can go ahead and do that with our problem. Let's see, what if we had four divided by five? Let's see, four divided by five. So I'm gonna say that we've got a, our whole segment here is four, and we divide it into five parts. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five parts. All right, so I'm gonna say that that means that we know that five units equals, let's see, five units, one, two, three, four, five units equals four, a whole. And that means, okay, so one unit equals four divided by five. Four divided by five is the same as four fifths, four divided by five, and I think that's our answer here, four divided by five. Let's see if we can check our work using our standard algorithm, let's see. We, standard algorithm, we really have to pay attention to what our whole is, what our dividend is, and our dividend is four. I think our temptation would be, hey, let's just uh, mash these numbers into here, but of, of course, we've got, uh, you know, division is not commutative, right? It does matter which direction we put it in. So let's see, we've got four holes divided into five parts, and let's see, how many groups of five can we make out of four things? Well, none, right? We can't make any groups, and that means we've used up none of our four holes. We have all four left, so that is a remainder of four, but we're going to express as a fraction. That's four-fifths, zero and four-fifths. So let's see. Uh, now we can check our work by multiplying our divisor times our quotient. So let's see, five copies of four-fifths, right? That's the same as four-fifths plus four-fifths plus four-fifths. Sorry, my writing's going to get sloppier. Plus four-fifths plus four-fifths. How many fifths is that? Well, let's see, that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 fifths, 20 fifths, and 20 divided by 5 is 4, and it's like we've checked it, right, that that is the same as our original dividend, our original whole number, 4. So I think we've confirmed our answer that 4 divided by 5 is the same as 4 fifths, and we've checked that even with our long, uh, our long standard algorithm. Let's take a look at one more problem. This is a difficult uh, problem, one of those multi-part charts. The directions are fill in the chart. The first one's done for you. Let's take a look and see what they did. They had a division expression of 16 divided by 5. Uh, they wrote that as a fraction, 16 fifths, or 16 divided by 5. They, oh, I see. This is interesting. This is new. Between which two whole numbers is your answer? Oh, and they noticed that, let's see, I think 15 fifths would have been 3. So they noticed that the answer is going to be somewhere between 3 and 4. That's helpful. And then they went ahead and did this as division. They had 16 as the dividend and 5 as the divisor, and that gave them a quotient of 3 and 1 fifth 
uh, that's the standard algorithm version. So sure enough, that's between 3 and 4. It's the same as this, right? We could take this uh, improper fraction and express it as the mixed number, 3 and 1 fifth. And that must be the same as this division expression. So let's go ahead and do uh, part B. I'll go ahead and highlight that in. And I'm noticing, by the way, that uh, part C, just a little hint, part C is 7 halves, which is one that we've done on, our, on one of our previous uh, lessons here on video. So if you need to go back to one of those previous videos, you can find us working on this kind of a problem elsewhere. So let's see. 3 fourths. 3 fourths is the same as 3 divided by 4. So I can write that in here. 3 divided by 4 is 3 fourths. Let's see. Is that right? That answer will be between 0 and 1. Sure. 3 fourths, right? It's a fraction that's smaller than 1, but it's greater than 0. So that's accurate. And let's go ahead and do this. 3 divided by 4. Let's see. How many groups of 4 can we make out of 3? Well, none, right? We can't make any, so that means we've used none of our 3 holes, and we have 3 left. Our remainder is thus 3 fourths. The remainder of 3 expressed as a fraction of 3 fourths, and 3 with the divisor of 4. Now, we could go ahead and check our work here and say, and do repeated addition 3 fourths times 4, or uh, 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, and if we added that all up together, I think we'd get 12 fourths. 12 fourths is the same as 3, and we're done. Awesome. Well, like I said, I'll leave you to work on uh, C uh, on your own. I think there's another problem D below that, but just a little bit of a hint. C was uh, we've, done, we've done on a previous problem pretty accurately there as well. If you want to look back, it, I think it has everything there except for maybe this box, which is kind of new to this particular homework. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.